Assalamu alaikum. Hello, namaste. I'm Benji and today is January 5th, 2021. And here I am today to share with you a story that comes from, well, it's not a country. It used to be an empire, the Persian Empire. And the Persian Empire used to be Iran, Iraq, Turkey, Egypt, and some influence of the stories even from India. So we will put the Persian Empire here, a little bit of tape on the hook here. Well, today's story comes from a storyteller. Her name was Scheherazade. Now Scheherazade, who was Scheherazade? Oh, Scheherazade was the teller of 1,001 stories, which later became the Arabian Nights. Now, who was she? Well, here she is. She was a Persian queen married to Sharonar. Now, Sharonar was a, was a monarch who told all of these stories. So my question is, and our question is here, here we are. Why so many stories? 1,001 stories. Okay, well, the story goes was that she was prolonging her own execution because of Sharonar. You see, three years before, Sharonar's first wife had been unfaithful. As a result, every day, Sharonar married a new woman, but had her beheaded the next day or executed. What a monster. Yeah. He didn't trust women. All but one woman did not run. And that was who? Sherherazad. Ooh, what a brave woman. Now, every, huh? every. every night for the next two years and seven months, thank you for the calculation, uh, she would tell Sharonar a new story that would leave off in a cliffhanger. It means she did not complete the story. She always said, oh, I'll tell you the end the next day, hus hubby. And sh that's how she prolonged her death, right? Okay. So at now, what happened though? What happened at the end though? At the end of 1,000 stories, it, actually on the, the, the last one, 1,001, according to the story, by that time, he became, Sharonar became a very wise monarch, wise king, a very trusting. So he trusted women again, and that's how she lived. Okay. Let us today share one of Sherharazad's stories. This story takes, this story is about a, let's turn this around here. Wow, there we are. This story, once upon a time, there was a fisherman, right? And this fisherman was netting. You know, he, had, he, was, he caught many fish, but he always wanted more. So one day he throws his net again to catch fish, but this time he did not catch any fish. He netted something very interesting. He netted a, 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 like a canister, a can, a container. And the container looked something like this. Wow, it had some fancy inscriptions, some design, and, and it was sealed with a lead uh, lid. And the fisherman said, oh, I can sell this at a bargain at the market. But the fisherman was very curious. What do you think he did? Did he sell it or did he take it or did he open it? What would you do? Well, he was very curious. So he opened, for better or worse, he opened the jar. And guess what happened, everyone? This big smoke came out. And oh my goodness. And a big genie came out. And this is how the scene looks like. So a big genie as tall as, as the sky comes out and says, thank you for freeing me. Now I shall kill you. <gasps> and the, 
And the fisherman asked, Why, genie, for I, your exalted one, have freed you? Why would you kill me? And the genie said, Because many centuries ago, King Suleiman had imprisoned me in this canister, in this can, and I made a promise that after 100 years, the first man who would free me, I would make him very rich. But a hundred years passed and still no one. So then I made a second promise. I said, okay, when the next man frees me, I shall grant him three wishes. A hundred years passed. Oh, and still no one freed me. But now I made a promise that the next man who frees me, I shall kill him. And that is you, fisherman. Oh, great exalted one, I am but a lonely fisherman with a family. I cannot believe that such a huge, mighty creation like yourself can even fit in this can. The genie said, do you doubt my power and my might? Well, genie, the can is very small. Allow me to demonstrate. So what did the genie do? The genie went back into the can. And the fisherman was very quick. He got the lid and sealed it again. And the genie was again trapped. So the fisherman tosses the can back into the sea. Now, I wonder how long it will be when, until the next fisherman catches the can. So everyone, if you are fishing and if you ever find a can like this, leave it alone, dig a hole, bury it, don't open it. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed today's story that comes from Shaharazad. Many more to come, and I will see you guys again uh, tomorrow. Okay, so have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time, everyone. Salam alaikum.